how's it going guys welcome back to another video and today we'll be going over a how-to series and this series consists of going over operators in Rainbow Six Siege and how they're useful how to make them efficient and how to just get better with that character if you need help and just going over the basics and stuff of that character and today we're going over my man Vigil so first of all Vigil is a Defender with one armor and three speed which means if they have low armor then they have high damage Which he definitely does have high damage. So let's take a look So he has the boss G the most highest damage gun in the game with hundred and twenty five Skyrocketed way over Kali's gun with 97 Now this boss G gun is great for one-shot kills And it's great for spawn peeking because what do you want to do when you spawn peek? You want to kill the person and what if it only takes one shot there you go boss g he's a defender spawn peeking easy that gun right there in a sense is just amazing the k1a amazing ar it has really low recoil not as good as pulse's ump but it just has really good recoil to where you can like sustain it as like head length without moving up or down like at all amazing gun also the C-75 Auto, uh, not so much, in my opinion. What I don't like about it is that it's an automatic pistol with a... In pistols, you can't put sights on. So, this pistol right here, the sight is way too big for me to use for, like, headshots, because it's bigger than the head, but I'll show you guys into it later. This SMG-12 I like way more, because you can put a sight on it, and it has a bigger mag. Then there's impact grenades, and then there's also a bulletproof hand. So on the boss G, I put a vertical grip in an ACOG because vertical grip helps with recoil. With the K1A, I have vertical grip also for recoil. I have a flash hider because it's good for bursts, and then I also have holographic on that. This one I have nothing on because I don't use it. And then this one I have a holographic with a... Is it a vertical grip? Yes, vertical grip. And then I also use impacts. I do not use bulletproof cameras because I'll show you guys in a second. But anyways guys, let's stop jabbering right now, and let's head into battle, and let's show you guys how these things work in action. Alright, welcome back boys. Now we're in battle. Now we can show you guys how things work. So, I'm showing you guys right now, this is what I actually use in battle. This is what I have as a typical loadout, unless I want to run- It's either the boss or the K1A, but everything else is the exact same. I never use bulletproof camera, I never use the other side. But anyways, let's start with the boss G, the main gun, the primary. So like I said before, what this gun is used for is one taps. So like for if you're gonna spawn peek, you gotta use this gun. Like if you're vigil, you gotta use this gun. I mean there's no other there's just no explanation. I mean seriously, it's an amazing gun to spawn peek with. So let's say for example there's a nomad over there. And She's a two armor, two speed, so she's balance. And you guys are probably like, what if I can't one tap her, you know? Like, with a K1A, I have more bullets for a chance to get a headshot. But the boss G, what if I shoot once and miss the other? You know, what if that happens? And I'm like, all right, good question. Well, this is what you do. If you're afraid to get two shots in, or if you're afraid that the first shot won't kill them, but the second shot will, but you're afraid that you can't hit both shots at once. So let's say the Nomad's over there. She's probably going to be crouched and peeking. Or she might be standing up. But she's probably not going to be prone because that would just be stupid. If she's prone, you can easily hit a one-shot headshot. But let's say that she's either standing or prone. So let's just say that she's standing right there. Let's say I have to shoot her twice because she's far enough. So I shoot her twice. Boom, done. Shoot her twice right there. Bam. I don't think anyone can react to that that fast because most people don't have like amazing internet that you find online like 100 megabytes per second like a lot of people like probably don't have that and so what i'm trying to get at is that there's delay between the game and the wi-fi there's always a delay between any game so your screen's different than their screen so this and this it's cut down, so that's actually faster than what it looks like on their screen. That's why kill cams don't look always the same to everybody. So if you do that, I guarantee you'll kill. So that's a good way to use the boss G. Or if someone's close and you're trying to peek around the corner slowly, bam, shoot them. Another good way to use the boss G. 
So, for the sidearm, SMG-12. So what I use the sidearm for is mainly to break down barricades. But when I break down barricades, I don't scope it, I just go like this. Boom. It spreads enough to where it hits every single, like, little plank, and then it breaks it. So that's easy. Or another way I use the SMG-12 for, which I like to have it, because of the magazine. So let's say there's a, another nomad. Let's say she's right there. Bam. Bam. Let's say I miss both shots. I don't want to reload. I'm afraid she's going to rush me. I take out my sidearm and I spray her. And then boom, I got her. So that's what another SMG-12. I mean, that's what the sidearm I have is for. For the higher magazine and for the scope. And then the gadget, which is here, which I have the impact grenades, are extremely useful. So let's use them in a bunch of different scenarios. If I want to spawn peek again, I'd break the window, just so it's easy to see. I'd blast this with an impact, run over there, and shoot him. You can't get anywhere besides blasting that. It's easier with an impact, because it's boom done. Another way is, like, let's say there's two bomb areas, it's not secure. When you're doing bomb area upstairs, there's a bomb here, and a bomb here. So if there's a bomb area in any map, there's always two bombs, and you gotta have a rotation hole. So a rotation hole is when you break a, open a hole, right here. Alright, that's weird, that usually doesn't do that. Break open a hole, and you're able to go through both sides. It usually only takes one. I don't know why it did that. That usually never, ever happens. That was just, like, weird. I think that was just, like, a bug or something. But you're able to go through both holes, and easy. Both areas, great. Another way for impacts is, like, let's say someone's downed and you don't want to go over there to shoot them like this. Just throw an impact over there and hit them, dead. Another way is, there's so many different ways. You can just find them out yourself, but in battle, you can find them. But if, let's, let's say that there's another nomad over here. Let's say you're right there and there's a nomad right here. Let's say that she's reloading, okay? I'm reloaded, I'm nomad. I was just spraying at this vigil and I, you know, I'm thinking to myself, man, I don't want him to come around this corner. I'm low. He got me low. I'm vigil over here with some impacts. I'm going to throw one over here. Unless you're confident enough that she's extremely low to where the impact will one-shot her, you can throw them at a soft wall. Don't throw them at a not soft wall because it won't hurt them. This will blast open the wall and kill her. But if it's a hard wall, throw it like on the side to where it would affect her if you know exactly where she is. That's another good way to use it. And then now I will go over to the other stuff that I sometimes use, but not really. But just the opposite weapons, complete opposite weapons on the edge. So let's roll into the other stuff. Welcome back, guys. Right now, I got the K1A, the C75, and the Bulletproof Cam. So this is just the opposite weapons that I had last time. So let's go over these in a quick view. So the K1A is an amazing weapon. It's an AR with uh, 36 damage, I believe, and 760 fire rate. So it's pretty stable. You know, you can keep it in the right area. You know, if you guys didn't know, you can lean left and right, which buffs the opposite side. So if I'm leaning to the right, it buffs my left side out. If I lean to the left side, it buffs my right side out. And this is what like high level plats do all the time, if they can keep it steady and right. And then if you have like an elite controller, you can crouch do it and stuff. It's kind of hard. I don't have an elite controller. It's really difficult for me, but if you do that, you can also keep it stable. So you can shoot in the head area if you're good enough. You can evade a bunch of bullets if they're flying at you. You can do that. Pretty good way to do things with the K1A. Amazing gun, by the way. Amazing gun. C75 Auto. Automatic pistol. Do the same thing like the other one. SMG-12. Boop, there we go. Done, broke a barricade. A lot more easier to shoot with because it has 270 less fire rate, but it has more damage. So unlike the other one, how it's everywhere, you can literally go like this. Easy. Easy claps. Then for the bulletproof camera, you can set it anywhere, you know. Put it on here, for example. Look at that. You can see mine there. Hey, what's up, guys? And then you can shoot it. It's bulletproof, so it won't take any damage. I'm not sure if Callie can break it, though. She probably can. I guarantee you Callie can break it. So I don't think it's fully bulletproof. But 
downside is, is that it breaks like that. With sledgehammer, your fist, or your knife, whatever you want to call it, your melee, and it's over with. So it's all those things. And then last thing to talk about is his ability. So he's immune to drones. Well, not sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. He's invisible to drones. Not immune. He's invisible for the time being. He can't be seen at all. Unless he gets twitched, then he can't activate it for a bit. But anyway, that's a that's a different story. But the thing that people don't know is that he's also immune to lion. So when he turns this on, he's immune to lion. So when you're running around with lion trying to track you. When you're running around and you can't see you so it's pretty cool so like let's say lion's breaking in right now he activated his thing his uh, ability you go in you have this activated he can't see you at all you shoot him bam dead he doesn't even know you're there it's a cool part there's an add-on kind of like echo's ability like side ability i guess you could say like how he's not detectable by dokabi i don't know if you guys knew that dokabi i don't know if you guys knew that though but that's a cool fact also so anyways guys, you'll be able to see the K1A, the Boss G, the C75, maybe. I probably, I might not even use this at all. I completely despise this gun. Literally, you can't even see anybody's head. It's too big. You'll be able to see me use the other sidearm. I think the SMG-12 it's called. I forgot. In battle, just in a second. Because I will be showing you guys actual in-game clips after this. So let's stop me jabbering and let's roll on the clips. Attempting to defuse your bombs. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. Hostiles eliminated. 